what is the value of x given that you have root of 2 into root x equals 4 then let's have it to be solution so from here let's say you want to use two method so method one we have to square both sides so we have this to be root 2 into root x all in parentheses to the power of 2 equals 4 to the power of 2 so when we have a b in parentheses to the power of 2 equals a square times b square so from here we are going to have root 2 into root x to the power of 2 equals 4 to the power of 2 and so mind you this and this normally cancel out so we have 2 multiplied by root x equals 4 to the power of 2 simply means 4 times 4 so we have 2 multiplied by root x equals 4 times 4 will give us 16 so dividing through by 2 so this we cancel out this so we have root x left equals 16 divided by 2 we give us 8 then once again we want to eliminate this square root of x so we can take the square of both sides so from here we have root x to the power of 2 equals 8 to the power of 2 and so we have this, we cancel out this, we have x equals 8 to the power of 2 simply means 8 times 8. Then we have x to be equals 8 times 8 will give us 64. Here is the first method. Now, to also apply the second method, let's say method 2. Recall that we have roots of 2 into roots of x equals 4. So from here, we have to recall that we have this as when we have root simply means. 1 over 2 so from here we can have this as 2 multiplied by root x in parentheses to the power of 1 over 2 equals 4 then from here we can also have this so we can also have this as 2 multiplied by root x in parentheses to the power of 1 over 2 equals 2 to the power of 2. Then from here, let's raise the power of this side by 2. We have here to be 2 multiplied by root x in parentheses to the power of 1 over 2 again to the power of 2 equals 2 to the power of 2 again to the power of 2 so we have 2 multiplied by root x this we divide by this will be 1 equals 2 to the power of 2 times 2 will be 4 so from here we have 2 multiplied by root x equals 2 to the power of 4 dividing through by 2 so we have this cancel out this we have root x 
equals 2 to the power of 4 over 2 to the power of 1. Well, we have a to the power of m over a to the power of n equals a to the power of m minus n. So we have here root x equals 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 equals 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 will be 3. Then from here, we also have x to the power of 1 over 2 equals 2 to the power of 30. To eliminate this, let's raise the power of both side by 1 over 2. Raise the power of both side by 2. So we have x to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 2 equals 2 to the power of 30 to the power of 2. So we have this, cancel out this, we have x, then we have 2 to the power of 30 times 2, we give us 6. Then 2 to the power of 6, 64. So we have x again to be equal 64. So we have the same value as the previous. Then let us now check for the value of x that we just got now. So we have x to be equal 64. Then to check, we have root 2 into root of 64. Then it's going to give us 4. Now we have root 2. We can have 8 in perfect square as, sorry, 64 in perfect square as 8 to the power of 2. Then it's going to give us 4. Now, when we have root of a to the power of 2 equals a. So from here we have root of 2. This and this will cancel times 8. Then it's going to give us 4. Root of 2 times 8 will give us 16. Then it's going to give us 4. We can have 16 in perfect square as square root of 4 to the power of 2. Then it's going to give us 4. This cancel this, we have 4 to be equals 4. So since the left hand side equals to the right hand side, this implies x equals 64 is correct.